Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it is my honor to introduce to you the former track announcer here at Saturday Downs and the voice of Hoosier Park, here's Steve Cross. Thanks, Jason. Horses are on the track and parading to the post for this afternoon's second event, Ohio Sire Stakes Action, three-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings, first division, purse $20,000. A field of nine, there are no changes. One, PJ's Vintage, owned by Patrick Huber, and Jay Scott of Ohio, Don Feaster drives. Two, CSI Turn and Burn over the CSI Farms of Hickory, North Carolina, with Jim Pantliano. Three, Final Legacy over Gary Reynolds of Crestline, Ohio, the driver Dan Reynolds. Four, Don's Flyby owned by John and Betty Shaw of Mount Vernon, Ohio, Don McCurgan driving. The five, Stillbrook, held by Beaver, Geiler and Condit of Ohio for driver Ron Steck. Six, Magic Chris, owned by Dinalyn Malone of Waterford, Ohio for Dave Hawk. The seven, Sterling Spur, owned by Houghton, Houghton, Shapiro, and Gooden of Ohio, the driver Brett Miller. Eight, Shout, owned by Ron and Linda Randall of Berlin Center, Ohio, James Joyner in the bike. And the nine is Sandy Crown by Alfred Schiller and Robert Stewart of Ohio. Jeff Fouch in the sulky. Exact to trifecta, wager eight. Three-year-old trotting Colton Gildings on the behind the gate. The gate swings into the stretch for the start. There they go. They're off and trotting, stepping away between horses. Final Legacy takes the early call from the outside. Sterling Spur showing early trot towards the inside. CSI turn and burn. PJ's Vintage is away fourth. Inside five, Dawn's a flyby. Two lengths in sixth, Stillbrook. Another two lengths seventh to Magic Chris. Two for the back, Shout and Sandy Crown is the early trailer. Around the turn to the quarter mile marker, it's Sterling Spur on the front with the lead parked out as they reach the quarter mile marker. Final Legacy there on the inside, playing a little hardball. Opening quarter, a quick 27 and 4 as they slug it out past the stand. Sterling Spur on the front, now to the inside. Final Legacy driving on, taking command. So Final Legacy is now the leader. Sterling Spur ducks in behind a second. Here's CSI turn and burn on the inside to third. Out and moving comes Dawn's flyby. That one, some four off the lead. Down to the inside, PJ's Vintage trotting in fifth. Then comes Magic Chris moving to the outside, just off the cover. Down to the inside, it's Shout. They trot the half in 58 seconds and onto the back stretch they go with Final Legacy leading the way. Sterling Spur on the inside is now trapped in second. Here's Dawn's flyby. First up on the outside, there goes Magic Chris. Three wide on the outside. CSI turn and burn. Locked and shuffled on the inside is fifth out, but gapping cover PJ's vintage. Down the back stretch and on the front with the lead is Final Legacy. There on the outside, Magic Chris to pressure in second. Off stride, Dawn's flyby. They trot three quarters, 127 and one. Around the turn, final legacy on the front. Clear in three, a length, a length and a half. Magic Chris is there, ready to pounce from second. Sterling Spurs, some four lengths for the back in third. CSI turn and burn on the inside is fourth. Final eighth of a mile to go. It's final legacy clinging to the lead. Here's Magic Chris coming at him and coming on. Magic Chris on the outside. Magic Chris to take a short lead. Final 16th, it's Magic Chris at the wire. Final legacy finishing a second. Sterling Spur up for third, 157 and four. To the winner's circle, winner of the second race, number six, Magic Chris. Magic Chris, 3 0 Gelling by Cam's Magic Trick from the Santa Style Marinola Christine. Owned by Diana Lynn Malone of Waterford, Ohio. Guy Malone trains, well driven here by Dave Hawk. It is the fifth seasonal victory for Magic Chris. A record mile, 157 for fifths. Magic Chris takes the first division, third leg of Ohio Sire Sticks. Trackside making the uh, blanket presentation. General manager of the OHHA, Jerry Knappenberger. Second race, official.